What's up everybody, it's David Draftbit, and we have a new feature that lets you add some functionality to these navigation headers in your app. So I've got three different previews here, Android, iOS, and web. And this area right up here at the top that's showing the name of the screen that we're on is the navigation header. And this is where we can now add some icons to the left and right side here that will let us um, trigger some actions. So let's check this out. I'm going to switch over to my list screen and show you that I have a modal here. And what I want is to add an icon up here in the top right of the navigation header that will open up the modal. So in order to do that, I can switch over to the navigate mode and select the screen that I want to add the icon to. And then over here in the right side panel in the configs tab, we have a header section here that's got some different props to configure the header for the screen. And if I scroll down a little bit, you can see back area, left area, and right area. And each of these corresponds to the right area, left area, or back area of the screen. And for each one of them, I can assign an icon and a label. So in my case, I want a search icon up here in the right. I'll open up the icon picker and you can choose from any of the available icons that we have. Oops, I'm going to search for search. All right, so now that looks good. We have an icon up at the top. I could add a label here if I wanted. You can see what that looks like. I'm gonna leave that off for now. So now that I have this icon here, I want to open that modal. And to do that, I can switch over to the interactions tab over here at the end. And we've added three new triggers now related to the nav header and that's on back icon press, on left icon press, and on right icon press. So in, in this case, we're using the right icon. So I'll click on that and open it up. And here's the action editor where I can use any of the available actions, just like I normally would. In this case, I just need to set a variable. So I'll select my show modal variable and give it a value of true. So this means whenever the icon is pressed, it will set that variable to true. And because that modal is being displayed based on the value of that variable, it will then show my modal. So that looks good. Cool, all right. So we can do the same thing for the left area and I can search for an icon and now I've got my left area icon and I can do the same thing on the left side with on left icon press. I can assign some actions there. And finally, I can customize the back area. So if I switch over to my detail screen, I'm going to customize the back area here. Find an interesting back button. So we're not going to see it just yet, and that's because the back area is only shown when the user can actually go back. So in order to do that, we need to navigate to our detail screen, and I can do that by coming back to lists, and I'll just click through to the details. And you can see now here we've got our custom back icon one thing to note is this is not going to work. Whenever you replace the back area icon, you lose the default back behavior. That means that whenever you set this back icon, you'll need to come here and using the on back icon press trigger, you can handle the back navigation back and you can do anything else you want here. But by default, it's not going to do anything. So be aware of that. So now if I switch back to my list, click through to details, I've got my custom back button here, and then boom, we go back. One other thing to note is if 
the left icon is set and the user can go back, the back button area is what is shown. So by def this is default navigation behavior and I can show what I mean if I search again for menu here and add that to my left area on the detail screen, you can see it here. And this is because there's no back behavior available right now. There's no screen to go back to. But if we go to list again, navigate to that detail screen, now we've got our back icon and that's because the back area always takes precedence over the left area. So very important to keep that in mind. One other thing that we can talk about is um, if you want to have, let's say I wanted this icon to show up on my list and detail screen. And instead of having to configure that on the, the right area of every screen, instead I could take a stack navigator, add these screens to my stack navigator. I will hide the root navigator header so we get rid of that and then remove that right icon from the list screen and I can move it up to the stack navigator now. Find my search icon. And then here I'll navigate or I'll do my set variable. And I'll handle this from the navigator. So now I've got icons from my left or my right side on both the list and detail screen and they're both set from the Stack Navigator. So that's really handy. All right, well, that is a quick tour. Give it a try, let us know what you think, and uh, we hope you like it.